Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And this is the look I created today. If you wanna see how I did it, stay tuned and watch the rest of my video. Follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share and like. Thank you guys so much. This is what I used today. Mostly it was a uh, makeup revolution palettes and products but of course it was a mixture of everything i am very excited today to be filming this and i miss filming and i love it and thank you guys so much stay tuned have a great day hi everybody welcome to my channel and i am so excited to film today you have no idea how excited i am here we go let's do this i'm gonna be using this palette by makeup revolution I love these colors. I haven't, I don't think I've done purples and like, I wanna do purple. Well, let's see what kind of look we come up with with this palette, but here it is. I already did my face. Uh, I stuck with my original Maybelline and Maybelline um, concealer for my lids and I set it with the Wet n Wild powder and yes so here we go so oh yeah and i did my brows with the maybelline pencil <laughs> okay let's do this i yes i straightened my hair i think it it needed it kind of even though i like my curls you know but let's try you know something different okay so here we go i am going to grab i'm gonna grab this small it's like a buffer essential crease brush mm, yeah it's like a little fluffy fluffy small little brush and i'm gonna grab this color right here the one in the corner it's like a pale it looks like a just like a pale color you're probably not even gonna see it because it looks like my skin tone but this could be a semi-transition color kind of okay i put it on both my lids you can't really tell so let's just go in with a deeper color i love this brush because it's very easy to control it's small you can get in and it's just very easy to control Okay, so let's go in with, why don't we try this one for the crease, for the transition. I'm kind of scared because it's, let's see how it looks. Okay, you could kind of tell. It's like a taupe color. Okay, so there it is. I placed it like all this area. Hope you guys can see it. Okay, I had to brighten up the light here because I, I don't know, I feel like it's too dark. Okay, so now that we placed that color, I'm gonna go in with, let's do that purple. It's beautiful purple color and place it on my crease very lightly and just feathering it in moving making the v going up Ooh. yes Okay, now it's on both my lids. There it is. You know what we could also do? We could get this fluffy brush. This is a MAC 224, if I'm not mistaken. We could get a powder that's the same color of our skin tone. This is the one from Wet n Wild. And place it on the arch of the brow just to highlight it a little bit just to make it stand out mostly to highlight it 
Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my smudge brush by Real Techniques and get the same purple color and I'm gonna place it on the bottom of my eyes, like close to my lashes. Okay, now I'm gonna get this shade right here. It's like a shimmer gold pink. Let's see how it looks. I'll, I wanted to do like a gold on my lid. One second. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the color Crave by Huda. <laughs> I had to because I want gold on my lid. I'm gonna get that, pack it on my brush, and place it on my lid. I just wanted a true gold color. Look how beautiful that looks already. Lily's over here grabbing my things. Thinks I'm not looking, but I'm looking. I'm gonna get more of that color. Don't open it, baby. Don't open it, mama. Thank you. More and keep packing it on my lid. Like so. Okay, so I placed that shimmer gold on my lids and now I'm gonna go in with this palette by Makeup Revolution. Okay, and I need it because I want the black. Why? Because I want to create a little more depth into this look. Like, for example, right here. Okay? So I'm going to get that black, just a tad bit. Okay? And then I'm going to trace it a little bit, like a little bit on the outer part of my eye. Like this, you see the difference? It's like a little slight of a difference. Like that. Okay, so this is the look so far. Now I'm gonna go put on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on, mascara is on, and check it out. I found this pigment. This is by Makeup Geek. It's called Liquid Gold, and it's a true gold color, and I placed it on my lid on this one, and it looks great. So I wanna try it on my other one now. So I pretty much grasp a little bit with my brush from the little thing here. <laughs> I'm gonna spray some with this. It's my all-nighter. And I'm going to place it very lightly on my lid. You see, I just wanted to give it a little extra. And it looks really, really nice. Put my... Okay. Ooh, you see? I felt like it just gave it another, like, boom in your face. Okay, so let's do the rest of the face. Okay, so I'm going to put concealer on the bottom of my eyes. This is the Instant Injury Wine by Maybelline. And I'm going to go down my nose, a little bit on my forehead, chin, top of my lip. Sometimes I feel like it's too much, but I sometimes need it. And I'm going to use this brush by Real Techniques. It's this one right here. It's called Expert Face Brush. I usually do my foundation with this brush. Okay, concealer is on and I'm gonna pull out my Laura. Mercier. I haven't used this one all week, actually more than a week, and I miss it. So, yeah, I'm gonna use this brush right here. <laughs> Hi, Lily. 
I mean, I don't think I ever used it with a brush, but I can't find my thing, my sponge. This will work though. Under my eye. Like this. I wanna make sure it spreads really well. Oh my God, it makes more of a mess. Okay, next time I'm gonna use my sponge. Oh, great. No, that's dangerous, Lily. Give it to me. And I'm going to dust it on my nose, too. Okay. So, for bronzer, I am going to pull out, since we're doing Makeup Revolution, this one right here. I used it maybe like a couple times. And it, I get very intimidated every time I use it. But you know what? Let me try to get used to that. No, baby. No, no, no. So I'm getting this one. This brush is by ELF and it's a buffing foundation. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to tap it. Okay, and then I'm going to place it right about there oh my god see i'm scared i'm always scared using this it's a good um uh, product but i'm just really really scared because i don't want to overdo it okay i guess most of it went on this side so i'm gonna work it on this side it's beautiful i i like it you know it's just very intimidating for me to use cream contour because I'm not used to it. You see, it's like too much. So now I gotta buff it out. Okay, let's try this side. Oh, it kind of did do it. You see that? But still, okay, let me just, let me just spread this one out. It's just very scary. I feel like with the, I mean, I'm sure with the cream one too, you can, you know control it and make it work like the powder i feel like with the powder you could gradually build it up but this one it's like i'm not used to it so scary i'm putting it around my face just so i won't focus too much on one part like that Oof you see what I did okay the good thing about makeup is you could go back and correct it okay okay it worked it did the do Okay, and here we go for the blush. I'm going to get this one right here on my MAC blush brush and spread it out. This is the Makeup Revolution blush palette. I'm sorry. I should have said that. Mm -hmm. So spread it all out and you know what I'm gonna sprinkle some on my nose just a tad bit oh my god I love the way this came out I love it I shock myself you know I have a vision sometimes and I'm scared that it might not come out but it's working okay so for the lips I'm going to get this one, Makeup Revolution Lure Red. This is a really pretty color. Look at that applicator. It's big. Okay, so there are my lips. Oh my god, I love it. 
I didn't do no no lip liner, none of that. I just went ahead and placed it straight on my lips. And now I'm getting the Mineraline Skin Finish by MAC. And I'm going to dust it a little bit on my face because there's a lot of shiny areas. Okay, so after that... My Fix uh, Make It Last... I was going to say fix spray. This is my Milani Make It Last Original 16 Hour Wear. It's my setting spray. Ooh, I love the way that smells. I've always liked that smell. Okay, everybody. Hey, hey, <laughs> Lily's probably excited that I'm done. She's like, finally, you get to sit with me. Okay, and that's my finished look. I hope you guys like it. I love it. I enjoyed doing it. Thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe. Uh, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and all those social media thingies. And thank you so much. I love the way this came out. It kind of reminds me of Christmas for some reason. But I love it, you know? it's beautiful the lips um they're still drying so it's kind of they're kind of sticky because it's a matte one but yes thank you guys so much have a great day have a great weekend and thank you for watching <laughs>